In a breakthrough that has ignited a cosmic fervor, the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's window to the cosmos, has unveiled a discovery so incredible that it has silenced scientists around the world. Capturing an image that defies imagination, this groundbreaking revelation has transformed our understanding of the universe's enigmatic depths. With its intricate interplay of light and shadow, the telescope has painted a portrait of a distant exoplanetary system that challenges the very essence of celestial physics. Unlocking the secrets of the cosmos, brace yourself for a mind-bending journey into the heart of the universe as the James Webb Space Telescope shatters scientific expectations with a discovery so astonishing it has left even the most seasoned astronomers in awe. Decades have seen NASA launching telescopes into space. However, the James Webb Space Telescope, JULAST, stands out as the first to rival its capabilities. Despite its hefty price tag and extended development period, JULAST emerges as a groundbreaking observing facility. Anticipation surrounds its potential. Already, this larger and more potent telescope has unveiled valuable insights, including a startling discovery regarding the warp bubble. But what is a warp bubble exactly? Galaxies, black holes, and other entities. So what has the JGLUST unveiled so far? To be more specific, should fear arise? The expanse of space holds numerous captivating destinations. Galaxies, black holes, and other entities like exoplanets fill the universe. Human curiosity drives the pursuit of understanding the world around us. Inquisitive minds yearn to uncover what lies beyond. Could some extraterrestrial beings match our cognitive prowess? Is there a chance we found an exoplanet with microbial life? However, the vastness of the universe presents challenges for space exploration. Mars might not be exceedingly distant in the grand scheme of things, but volunteers aiming to colonize it must endure over five months of transit through the hazardous environment of deep space. Consider present technology's limitations in reaching Proxima b, the nearest exoplanet to Earth. It's wishful thinking to imagine covering the 4.24 light-year distance to that exoplanet. To put it another way, the closest exoplanet is around 25 trillion miles away, equivalent to 4.24 light-years. Given that a light-year spans 5.88 trillion miles, the endeavor seems quite impractical. NASA persists in launching satellites. However, this won't deter us from further exploration. After all, we've devised means to reach distant stars. Astronomical telescopes play a crucial role. Even if physical proximity remains elusive, we can glean knowledge by sending advanced instruments in their direction. NASA's history of launching space telescopes spans many decades, with the Hubble being a prominent example. It orbits Earth, enabling astronomers to study remote corners of the universe. In the realm of warp drive, NASA persists in launching satellites. Humanity now wields an advanced tool for examining far-flung cosmic objects, the James Webb Telescope. It supersedes the Hubble as the most powerful space observatory. The JGLST empowers astronomers to peer deeper into the past, observing star formation during the universe's early days. It boasts 100 times the Hubble's power, allowing us to glimpse the universe's beginnings over 330 million years ago. Wondering how the JGLUST peers billions of years into the past? The answer lies in light's journey from distant stars, spanning billions of light years before reaching Earth. This light reveals the appearance of faraway stars as they were billions of years ago. NASA has unveiled a preliminary set of images showcasing the JGLST's potential. Among them are images of the Carina Nebula, a region of bright space housing massive stars enveloped in gas and dust positioned 7,600 light-years away. The Stevens Quintet, a cluster of galaxies a million light-years distant, will also feature in the images. Four of the five galaxies are intertwined in a complex gravitational dance, warping their shapes. Additionally, captivating images of the galaxy cluster SMACS723 will surface. This cluster's galaxies warp and amplify light from objects behind it, presenting a unique phenomenon. Nonetheless, the warp bubble stands as an extraordinary discovery. Let's define this concept. A comprehensive understanding requires mathematical proficiency, but we'll provide a simplified definition for now. Traveling within a warp bubble doesn't entail exceeding the speed of light. Rather, it's akin to riding within a condensed space bubble. The bubble compresses ahead and expands behind, propelling its contents forward at speeds surpassing light. Why is the warp bubble significant? 
it addresses a major issue tied to superluminal travel, or time slows down. Physical rules and travel faster than light. Everything outside of your ship would speed up, making your three-hour visit to a tropical paradise feel like years on Earth. If you wish to obey all known physical rules and travel faster than light, you should probably end all your relationships before you go. Warp bubbles, on the other hand, don't have this problem because the space inside the bubble doesn't change. So even if you're flying at warp speed for an hour, it's still only an hour for everyone else. Warp speed is a concept well known to Star Trek fans. Since the first episode appeared in 1966, there have been 10 television series and 13 films set in the Star Trek universe, all of which contain the fantastic future technology known as warp drive. The story's protagonists travel from planet to planet in fast, powerful spaceships while exchanging messages with an alien crew. It's the torsion engine that draws people in, as the plot wouldn't hold water without it. The universe is strange, mysterious, and absurdly large. Even if you wanted to travel to the next star, the enormous distances between them would be nearly impossible to traverse. The next star we can examine is Proxima Centauri, located 4.5 light years away. Traveling at the speed of light, getting to the star would take about 4.5 years. Any other method is slower because light travels at full cosmic speed and acts as a form of universal speed limiter. Staying close to Earth and its neighboring environment makes sense because even with the fastest space probe developed, the long trek into the intergalactic abyss would take around 8,000 years. The Star Trek crew didn't stick close to home because they figured out how to cut down on their trip time. Therefore, they didn't bother sticking around Earth. Space and time are juggled by the torsion engine, which employs warp drive technology, and the result is thrilling. Before the final years of the last century, scientists had resigned themselves to the idea that a warp drive was impossible. Where do warp bubbles fit into the grand scheme of things? Let's check out Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to Earth, which is located 4.25 light years away. That's around 25 trillion miles or 40 trillion kilometers. Peak speed of 450,000 miles per hour. With a peak speed of 450,000 miles per hour, the Parker Solar Probe will be the fastest spacecraft ever built. Extremely fast, as it only takes 20 seconds to get from Los Angeles to New York City. But it will take you almost 6,663 years to get to Proxima Centauri. However, if you use warp bubbles, you can conceivably reach Alpha Centauri in one month, as determined by the spacecraft's onboard clock and mission control's master clock. Miguel Alcubierre was the physicist who, in 1994, came up with a notion that shocked the scientific community around the world. While working on his doctorate thesis on Einstein's general theory of relativity, Alcubierre was inspired by an episode of Next Generation in which heavy masses can bend space and time. He immediately grabbed a scrap of paper, did the calculations, and subsequently published his findings in a scientific journal. Later that year, in his study, Alcubierre explains how to visualize a torsion bubble in which space and time are compressed in front of a spacecraft and stretched back behind it, making the journey to the destination much quicker. In any case, Alcubierre's warp bubble has certain issues, you see. Aggressively curving space with regular mass isn't enough to power a warp engine. You need exotic matter with negative gravity to reduce travel times. Alcubierre's warp drive would encase the spacecraft in a bubble of flat spacetime and then twists spacetime around the bubble. If a warp drive were to function, it would require either the theoretically possible form of matter known as negative mass or a ring of negative energy density. However, as negative mass has never been seen by physicists, this leaves us with only the latter possibility. Negative energy. Negative energy can be generated by a warp drive by creating an imbalance between particles and antiparticles which requires a large quantity of mass. Alcubierre's warp drive would use this negative energy to create the spacetime bubble. However, to generate enough negative energy, a warp drive would require a large amount of matter. Alcubierre estimated that a warp drive with 100 meters would require 1 times 10 carat 30 kilograms of matter. It seems like you shouldn't enter this area. Fans of the warp drive have another reason to believe they will live to see a real warp drive constructed. In the traditional way of discovering things, the way to build a working warp drive may have been discovered by accident. Warp bubbles seem like a concept that will never be realized in the real world, 
but a completely coincidental discovery is reigniting interest in the concept and could prove to be a breakthrough. Dr. Harold White is a researcher for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. The Eagle Works Laboratory in Texas is where he and his colleagues first began publishing their findings on the potential structure of the energy stored in a Casimir cavity. Simply put, White and his co-workers were doing a microscopic experiment when they discovered something unexpected while looking into a theory proposed by Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir regarding the dispersion of energy across wavelengths. Casimir Cavities According to White, the group's custom Casimir cavities were subjected to careful numerical analysis, which lent them to the identification of a real manufacturable nanomicrostructure that is predicted to generate a negative vacuum energy density and, as a result, manifest a real nanoscale warp bubble structure, not an analog, but the real thing. Alcubierre's concept of warp speed was theoretically possible thanks to the amount of energy produced in the experiment. White was also familiar with Alcubierre's plausible suggestion for a warp drive that could travel faster than the speed of light without violating generally accepted physical principles. But he also knew that the plan had been ridiculed for its reliance on unrealized theoretical materials and massive amounts of energy. White refined Alcubierre's initial metric and changed it into a canonical form, which drastically reduced the requirement for unconventional materials and energy. The revised idea resulted in the original theoretical design being informally renamed and is now more often known as the Alcubierre White Warp Drive. Additionally, it provided scientists and fans of science fiction with the hope that a practical warp drive could one day be built. White predicts that his or another scientist's small warp craft will be built and tested soon. However, White is quick to point out that much more research is needed before we can develop a completely functional warp drive. Yet, there is some reason to believe that one day, humanity may be able to travel the galaxy at light speed in a warp bubble, a la Star Trek. What are your thoughts on the concept of warp bubbles? If you've enjoyed insights in this video, we'd greatly appreciate your support. Be sure to show your appreciation by hitting the thumbs up button and joining our community of engaged viewers. By subscribing to our channel, you'll be in the front row for all our upcoming content, ensuring you never miss a moment of the exciting discoveries and discussions that lie ahead.